So uh, after we know that the f how the find S algorithm work, uh, now we are at the point that we can improve it because in find S we use just only the positive one and we don't use the like we don't take the benefit from the negative one. So uh, if we have some other algorithm that can be used to find the the like uh, use to find the like more faster. Because from the brute force one to fight S, yes, it is faster. Because in brute force, you have to fight all rep all combin all like all possibilities, all combinations of the attributes values, right? And then you have to choose the correct one, the one that covers just only the positive and not the, the negative one. And in find S, you can just uh, iterate through all positive examples. That is much more faster. And guys, uh, if we have the uh, a definition of the version space, that this space will contain all hypotheses that cover the positive one and not the negative one. Or uh, I can tell you like uh it is like uh the like can be think like uh the correct the correct hypothesis. So uh in the version space the idea is we can use some algorithm like uh look at this if we use the algorithm like uh this one this is from the slide of professor tom mitchell textbook uh this one is least then eliminate is that like uh we have to find all possible hypotheses and then check that if if the if the hypothesis cannot or incorrect like uh it cover the negative one or it cannot cover all positives all positive ones it is like uh the 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 one that is not in the list the, the list so we have to list then eliminate okay so uh we so uh, this is one of the output from the version space that we want that uh, we have like uh, the this one this one this one this one we have like six hypotheses that cover all positive but not the negative so guys uh, the idea is now uh, the list then eliminate is the one that you have to list all and then remove the one that is not not correct i can tell you that not correct okay so uh the other idea here is we can use uh the other algorithm that is i can explain about this algorithm uh we have another algorithm it's called the uh, candidate elimination algorithm it is the algorithm that maintain two sets of hypothesis this is we have set g and set s or uh, the set set g is the maximal general hypothesis and set s is maximal specific hypothesis you can think that the s set s is same as the one that we did with the find s1 we try to maintain the most or the maximal specific hypothesis okay but uh, for the g1 we never use it for the g1 we will like use the negative one to maintain this set you can imagine that we try to maintain the here we try to maintain the most general so we try to keep the most general that can exclude the negative one the job of the job of G is try to exclude the negative. Okay, and the set S is try to include the positive. So we can we will make S to be larger and larger and try to make S to be like more specific. Okay, so uh, now. The idea will be like very simple, like very simple. 
Uh, so look at this. This is the algorithm. If D is positive one, if D is the positive one, guys, we have this word. If the positive, it is like the way that we did with the find S. So, so we will, we will remove the hypothesis that is not consistent or inconsistent with D, because D is positive, right? And some hypothesis in G doesn't it doesn't cover this positive, so we cannot make it. We cannot do anything with this. So the one that we can do is just remove this hypothesis from D. From from this set, okay. So uh, this is the first step that you have to do, and then uh, this one is the way that we did with find s. Try to make it like minimal generalizations. That is try to make it to the smallest step of generalization. Okay, to make this hypothesis to be like uh, consistent with this example. Okay, so this one is the way that we did with find s. Okay, this one is the way that we did with find s, and we have another one. We have another one. If there is some hypothesis that is more general than another, remove it from set s. So this this one is like uh to make try to maintain s to be the most specific one. So if there is something that is more general than the other, we can remove it. Because it can be covered by by the S. Okay. Also, so we don't need to keep this kind of hypothesis, the one that is more general than the other. Okay, guys. So if this is a negative one, look at this. If this is the negative one, the negative one, the S that S that cover this one must be removed. But in this representation, we don't have that kind of of uh, hypothesis. So if we removed, it means that we don't have any hypothesis left in this set. It means that there's nothing to do. So we can report that we cannot learn the concept from from the data set. Okay, we cannot learn hypo the correct hypothesis from this data set in this one remove from S any hypothesis is inconsistent with D. So we cannot do anything. Okay, guys, because this is the negative one and S that is the most specific hypothesis, that still cover this one. So we cannot change. So so it's, it means that we cannot learn. Okay, so in the next thing, for each hypothesis in G, we have to we have to add, we have to add all minimal specializations of S of uh, special specialization H of G that make it like H will be consistent with with D that is try to exclude this one okay and we will have some members of S that is more specific than H let us try to try to make like uh, S still can be like can exclude this one this is the negative, right? So it must be something like this. So, and next, we have to remove from G. That is less general than another hypothesis. This is the same as the way that we did. So guys, uh, I'll show you how can we follow this algorithm in the next video clip. And that one will be like to make you understand this better.